Right, welcome ladies and gents, IGN France, uh, they think that women are incredibly fragile and just simply looking at Stellar Blade would make you want to off yourself. Randomly. Yeah, way to guilt trip people I guess. Way to guilt trip people into having playable characters be fat and gross and just nasty. I don't understand this, it's very bizarre. They even try and say, look, uh, that gamers have become too fragile due due to being fed the patriarchy. Or, wild notion, I know, bear with me, wild notion. Could it be that men like attractive women and the standards that women hold themselves to in the West are so low now, because they're fat and gross and repugnant, that men have just kind of had enough and they've gone, no, this is an attractive, you know, Asian, I'm just going to look at that, that's fine. Fragile because of a patriarchy? No. Men like attractive women. You know, women that put down pies once in a while. Women that go out and do, you know, a workout, for instance, once in a while. Women that look at themselves in the mirror and, you know, it doesn't instantly break. They look at themselves and go, hey, you know, I earned this. Maybe. I know, wild, wild notion. These people, I hate them so very much. So IGN France Editor-in-Chief Erwan Lafloriel, I bloody hell say that name, recently implied that Shift Up Corporation's design of their main character, Eve, uh, is uh, killing women. That's a real person, by the way. The face isn't, but the body is. So what if they had that face on a, a fat person? Would that then be killing people? No, it probably wouldn't, would it? Hold yourself to better standards, ladies and gentlemen. It's important. Love yourself. You are your best friend, or you should be. Why? Because you're going to be around yourself more than anyone else ever in your entire life. If you don't look after yourself like your best friend, like you love yourself, that's on you. It's not on anyone else. It's on you. You need to love yourself. You need to go work out, get fit, get healthy, look after yourself, eat better, right? Indulge a little bit here and there. But treat yourself like your best friend. Take time out from work, busy schedules to relax. Don't just sit there and, I don't know, just rest on your laurels and go, this is fine, this is good enough. Uh, so we also asserted that gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy. Uh, long live the patriarchy, I guess. Because I, I just, I don't understand. I mean, there is no patriarchy, by the way, just as an FYI. There is no patriarchy. Not in terms of how people, you know, perceive it. Uh, but this is nonsense. Men gamers are too fragile because of the patriarchy? Because we have standards? Christ. Okay, then. So, as uh, brought to public attention by former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern in a now-deleted comment on IGN France's Stellar Blade preview, Lof Floriel, who also happens to be the author of Fallout, A Tale of Mutation, responded to a comment made by a user who stated, it's a shame that women also like this character design. Guys who are afraid of hypersexualization as if it were dirty. Long live the Neo-Puritans. Uh, and so Topek, uh, so, uh, it was translated by Topek, sorry, and shared by Mark Kern. Uh, Lafloreal responded, yes, no problem. Go tell that to the women who are hit, killed, denigrated, or who commit uh, suicide because they cannot live up to the fictional standards expected by men. It's not a fictional standard. This is a real person. And you actually can. This is what annoys me, right? It's not a fictional standard. And it's not all, It's not expected by men. It's a preference. We would prefer it. Just like a lot of women would prefer their man to look, you know, not pudgy and like the stereotypical neck beard. Right? He says, with a beard. But having a workout, you know, going to work out and stuff like that. That's what women prefer. And, and it's so very funny as well, just as an FYI, to any woman watching this, you, your ability to look better than average requires very little effort by comparison to what a man has to do. Genuinely. You have to just lay off the pies a little bit here and there, right? So not that much, actually. Control what you eat on a day-to-day -day basis, just generally. Not starve yourself. No, 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 not starve yourself. Right? Just balanced, you know, protein, carbs, fats. Uh, and then just go on a jog here and there. And a little bit of a light hit workout, you know, once a week or so. That, just that alone, will make you far better than the average person.
because intrinsically women have you know a feminine body wider hips narrower um, you know narrow waist a bust hopefully you'd think so it actually doesn't take you much to to meet the ideal of what or at least get closer to the ideal of what a man wants men to get close to what women's standards are have to bust their ass in the gym for at least a decade genuinely right very diligently maybe even go on gear steroids so it's it's not it's not a fictional standard and it's also not that hard to get to like just honestly god these people you need it you need a sharp wake up call some of these idiots so he said the problem is not the sexy design itself except that it sucks compared to others that's a real person except for the face uh, but hey, that doesn't matter. But the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality. Yeah. So that's a problem because women most affected, I guess. What the hell, man? Obviously, we understand that this does not shock people who think that women are objects who must obey and be beaten. No one is saying they must obey or be beaten. What on earth are you talking about? My God. This design makes us sigh and roll our eyes, and we laugh at anyone who needs it, man or woman, but that's it. Need it? What are you talking about? The certainly clashing remark in the text, which targets the entire creative process, not necessarily a specific designer or the game director, this is obvious to anyone who knows a little French, only has the impact because a good portion of gamers have become too fragile due to being fed the patriarchy. This person is insane. This person is actually insane. We don't think women are objects. But if you want to be an object of desire, right? So this is different. Note note the differentiation. I don't think any woman is an object. But if a woman herself wishes to be an object of desire to a man, there you go, different, difference, you got to put some fucking effort in. It's really not that hard. It's not that much effort. If you wish to be desired by a man, act like it, you know, Act like a bit of a desire. You, love yourself to be loved by someone else. It's really, it's not that much. These people are insane, stupid. No one thinks, very few people. I say no one, but it, it, it really is no one, right? You know, I'm, I'm broad churching it, but it is true. There's very, very few people that view women like objects. But if a woman wishes to be an object of desire, you do have to make some effort, just like a man does. Literally, just like a man does. And no one, no one denigrates women for that. No one's like, oh, you know, you want, you want a man to look after himself. Yeah, good. Idiots. Anyway, there you go. These people are stupid. No one's killing himself with a bloody stellar blade, you turds.